Hello, Dennis. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you? Yes, very well. Hello. How are you? So, you all ready to go? Yeah. Yes? Mm -hmm. So the idea of today is for us to remove the endometriosis that is pressing on the ureter on the right, putting pressure on your kidney, and also remove the endometriosis that is invading into your bowel. The risks of the operation we have spoken about, there is risk of injury to surrounding structures like bowel, bladder, blood vessels. But there is a risk in your particular case that the joint that we are going to make leaks and that means that you may need a bigger operation to fix that. But we're hoping none of those will happen. It sort of started eight, nine years ago when I first started having some symptoms. I had sort of really bad period pains, but I couldn't go to work. I ended up in A&E several times, but then towards the end, literally 24-7, every single day of the month, um, no pain, no painkillers would, would help. And it wasn't until I found Mr Kazali that I sort of had a clear path of, of what I could be doing to, to improve the situation. He did a quick examination and he could tell straight away that, you know, I have quite severe endometriosis. By definition, endometriosis is the growth of abnormal endometrial type tissue outside the uterus. And this lady has a very severe form of endometriosis. So she's having a very complex procedure for which we need different surgeons in different specialties working together. Mr. Bean, colorectal, and Mr. Lindsay, transplant surgeon. So part of her surgery really is an organ saving surgery. That is to stop her right kidney from deteriorating. You can almost say this is as bad as it gets. Just worried about recovering and potentially maybe more surgery. So yeah, it's, it's, it's a huge day for me. Okay, knife to skin. So what we do with laparoscopy, we use a telescope to look inside the patient's abdomen and pelvis. We can reach places that in open surgery is very difficult to reach. This is the right ovary that we can just about see. And this is the right fallopian tube, which is abnormal and I can al already feel this is stone hard. So this basically is the tissue that is supposed to be covering the inside of the uterus. It has infiltrated, it has invaded uh, her surrounding structures. So we just start our tissue dissection slowly and carefully. At some point we need to decide whether we are beyond the nodule or not, because if we are, then that means we've won. And Mr. Lindsay here is optimistic that we may have won with uh, releasing the ureter without the need for reimplantation. I think you're right. I think, I we're, think we're, we're past it. Yeah. That's amazing news. Shaheen's done a, a, a very impressive job of cutting through the concrete scar tissue that was encasing the ureter. Um, and we've got sort of beyond that and it means that the urine should be able to flow freely from the right kidney. So we have made a very good progress so I am going to hand over to Mr. Bien who will then complete the resection of the segment of the bowel and join it together. This is not just one surgeon doing this has to be experienced surgeons who contribute and give good, good long-term results. This is difficult surgery. It's not in the books, is it, this? No. We're going to be dissecting a little bit further down the pelvis, which will divide the rectum, and uh, then uh, put what's called a purse string around the colon, that we're then going to join up to the rectum. It probably sounds more complicated than it is. This is the disease. Now we've uh, brought it out, and we can see in two places the endometriosis has invaded the bowel. So we've taken it out to remove the abnormal part of the bowel. This is now connected and rejoined again. Yeah, absolutely happy. It's beautiful. Absolutely no leak. Thank you very much, Phil. Thank you. That was very nice. We managed to remove all the endometriosis that we could see. She's going to be relieved 
she's going to um, have a lot of uh, reduction in her pain. Well done, you're just waking up. I've got a little oxygen mask for you. Everything's gone really well. So we're going to get around to recovery now. Janice, have a seat. So, six weeks almost, huh? Five weeks. Yeah, five weeks actually. How have you been? When I first saw you, I was just, you know, not functioning and now I'm fine. So, um, yeah, yeah, no, huge difference. Okay, yes. that's good to hear. I'm very happy that uh, you're better. Uh, I think it was uh, a good idea, uh, not only to, to get your pain better, but also to save your kidney. She's recovered completely from her very difficult operation. Uh, Pain-wise, she's uh, a lot better. Um, her quality of life has changed completely from 30% to 95%. I have a lot more energy, can actually you know, go out and, and uh, not have to change my plans because I might be you know, in pain, stuck at home. Um, yeah, just, just functioning like a normal human being again, which is, which is great. Oh, thank you, Kathy, actually. Oh, thank you. Thank you no, very I much. I really appreciate, you know, what you've done. It's, oh, that's very it's kind. Been, it's been tough, but yeah, so glad I found you. Honestly, and the, <laughs> that's very kind of you to say. Mr. Kazali's done so much, you know, for me. He's just made me really feel, feel comfortable and listened to, and I'm so glad that I found him patients who've had a long journey. Uh, they can now decide that their lives are not going to be defined by having endometriosis. That makes me feel very good. <laughs>